We are here at uh, Keon Green Studios doing a photo shoot and promo for an upcoming project that I have coming out. Um. My name is Christopher Barnes. I'm from Michigan, Maryland. Uh. Um, I grew up in Maryland and I went to uh, Charles Herbert Flowers High School. Graduated, went to Bethune-Cookman University in um, 2004, finished in 2008, then went to Georgia Southern University. Um, well, during Bethune-Cookman, let me just uh, backtrack a little bit. Bethune-Cookman, I studied piano performance and uh, played in the jazz combo. By around 2010, that's when I um, was trying to figure out when Music Soul Child was coming out with another album. So I went on the internet and I'm um, on Wikipedia, and right next to the new album is said to be announced, but I followed that link, um, which took me to several other links that landed on the producer's uh, page, who actually discovered him and wrote his biggest hits, uh, who were Carvin and Ivan. So um, around that time, that was the last week of um, school, and I finished all my homework, and um, I messaged um, Ivan, who's uh, now my mentor and business partner, and um, we negotiated you know, um, you know, times when I would come down and I talked about, discussed it um, on IM, on uh, Google. And when I came down, um, I met him um, at his nice house in um, uh, Jersey. And we talked for two hours. He talked to my parents uh, just to get to know me a little bit more. And um, he asked me to play for him and, I, um, and to sing for him as well. So as soon as I played and sing, he uh, invited me back the next day. And we started recording for um, Estelle, Let Us See, Tamia. We did work for New Edition. Um, I recorded some things for John Legend. We uh, did work with Keisha Cole, and um, just recently Raheem Devon, and um, his album is set for release August 20th. And so far, I have two Grammy nominations to my name: one for Lettucey's project on Pieces of Me, uh, which I served as songwriter and uh, co-producer for the last song entitled "I Gotta Get to You," and uh, we received the nomination for Best R&B Album at the 2012 Grammys, I believe. And uh, after doing work with her, um, Estelle's album came out. Uh, they used our track, which was the first one on the album called The Life. And uh, they used that in the premiere episode of Single Ladies in 2012 in uh, May. And uh, after that, we followed up with um, Tamia's album, Beautiful Surprise. And we did track number nine, where I also served as uh, instrumentalist and songwriter and co-producer again. And the name of that song was entitled Still Love You. And that album helped earn my second Grammy nomination consecutively uh, for Best R&B Album. And now we are set to release for Raheem's album, which is entitled uh, A Place Called Loveland, which is going to be out a month from today, so August 20th. So definitely make sure you go out and um, support uh, great music. Keep great music alive. Um, I see that the radio is slowly changing and um, they're trying to adapt to you know getting more organic music back on the radios and usually it's the viewers and the people who are listening and you know the disc jockeys who actually you know um, take the time out and actually play those records for the people so I'm very appreciative for all my supporters and I thank you for um, allowing me in this blessing to be able to give music to the world on a wider range because there's a lot of people in my position who did go to school and did receive degrees and um, aren't really doing what they love to do. And uh, when I talk to some of those friends, um, it just um, gives me this sense of humility, but also awareness that you know um, I should, you know, be able to help those kinds of people. You know, I um, I mentor, you know, teenagers and younger kids as well, and try to give them honesty, truth, and um, optimism. You know, in achieving their dreams and goals, no matter what the circumstances, because in life we all have struggles. Um, but if we just you know depend on God and continue to pray and definitely put in the work because nothing in life is easy, God will open those doors. Cut, cut, cut the